Namaskar students this video is for class 6 maths and today we are going to start a new chapter called basic geometrical ideas this is the first chapter of geometry before i start the chapter let me tell you something about geometry geometry is derived from the greek word called geometron it has been break into two part the word geo means earth and metron means measurement it is a branch of mathematics and in this we study about different concepts of point line plane angles curve shapes and size of different objects and their property we find geometry in different fields like art architecture engineering etc like you can see many ancient building and monuments which are of different shapes now we can also find geometry all around us the things which are around us are made up of some shapes and they have got some properties all this study of things of shape size comes under the geometry now in this chapter we are going to study about the basic things of geometry so first we are going to learn about point or you can simply say a dot which can be made by a pencil or a compass needle anything this point determines a location or you can say a position point do not have any length or have any thickness it is just simple a point and it is denoted by capital letters like a b x like over here you can see there is a dot a point and below it capital a is written and here also we are having a dot a point and below we are having b here we are having a dot and below it we are having capital x and we read it as point a point b and point x now let us learn about line segment when we have two point now we can join this two point in many different ways like from point a to point b i can go like this or i can go like this but if i go straight from point a to point b that will be the shortest distance and this shortest distance between two points over here point a and b is the line segment so from it we can conclude that a line segment has two end point like over here this line segment has got end point as point a and point b and as it has got end point so we can measure the length of this line by using a ruler so it has got a definite length or you can say a fixed length and it is represent as ab and on top of ab a line has been draw this line shows that ab is a line segment we can also write this line segment as ba and here also on the top of ba there is a line which shows that it is a line segment so we can represent line segment from any ways that is we can write it as ab or we can write it as ba now let us see what is line now if we have a line segment and we increase the length of the line segment from both the ends like over here we are having two points a and b and the distance between them and the, that is the line between them is a line segment and over here we have increased 
the line segment from both the ends and this arrow shows that it can be increased endlessly now when we increase a line segment endlessly from both the ends then it becomes a line so basically a line has no end and as it has no end it has got no fixed length also and it is represent as ab and on top of ab we have a line and at the end there is two arrows the arrows at the two ends shows that it is a line the line can be represent as ba also and sometimes the line represented by a small letter like over here this line can be represent as l also now let us see what are intersecting lines when two lines intersect each other means crosses each other at one point then they are called intersecting lines like over here we are having a line m and we are having a line n and both this line are crossing each other that is intersecting each other and this point that is point o so these two lines are called intersecting lines and the point o is the point of intersection now let us see what are parallel lines now if we have two lines which do not intersect each other means they will not meet each other at any point then they are called parallel lines like over here two lines has been drawn here line p and line q and these two line are not meeting each other not crossing each other at any point if you extend this line to any length still also you will find that these two line are not meeting each other so these two lines will be parallel line and it is represent by p then two straight line these two straight lines shows that they are parallel and q it means p is parallel to q now let us see what are rays now rays is a portion of line now suppose we are having a line oa now and when we fixed one end point and we increase the line only in one direction then we get a ray now over here you can see that o is the fixed point and from o the line has been increasing towards the direction of point a so as it is increasing only in one direction it is a ray so we can conclude that a ray has one end point and it can be extended indefinitely means endlessly in one direction and it is represent as oa and above oa we are having a straight line and one arrow at one end now before we have seen that line or line segment can be represented in both ways like ab or ba but here in rays oa is not equal to ao now why like oa when we are talking of oa o that is the first point is the end point and a and the arrow of above this oa shows that from o the ray has been increasing towards a but it is not so at ao if we are writing ao it means a is a fixed point 
but here a is not a fixed point from a it is increasing in this direction that's why oa is not equal to ao now whatever we have studied so far based on it let us solve the first exercise that is exercise 4.1 the question number 1 says use the figure to name and here is the figure now when you will solve this exercise in your geometry copy you will first draw this figure on the right side of your copy with the help of ruler and a pencil and then you will write the answer like number a it says you have to name five points and we know that points are represented by capital letters so here you can see in this figure all the capital letters so the points are d e o b c then b we are having a line and we have seen that a line has got two arrows at the end now here you can see we are having one line over here here is a point but here is an arrow so we are not having two arrows in the end but you see this line we are having arrows at both the end so this is a line and the points at the end are db so we can name it as line db now four rays now rays one side will be a point and other side will be an arrow end so here you see if i take the point o then other end we have point b and this is the arrow side so the ray will be ob i have named one ray in a similar manner you are going to write three more rays the question number d says five line segments so five line segments we know that it has got two end points now take it as the point d and e so d e is a line segment so you are going to represent it like this and you will write four more by yourself now question number 2 you are going to do it by yourself in question number 2 it says that you have to name lines here is the figure and four points are given that is a b c and d with the help of these four points we have to write the names of lines as much possible and there is a hints there are 12 ways you can write the line now let us see question number 3 question number 3 again there is a figure given there are three lines in this figure and points are given now the question says use the figure to name now again here also in your copy you will draw this figure first with pencil and scale and then you will answer the question now question number a says you have to name line containing point e now where is point e so here you can see point t e. point d e is on two line either you can take this line that is a line ae or you can take the line ef so any one you can write either you can write line ae or you can write ef on both this line there is a point e now second that is number b we are having line passing through a now here we are having point a and point a this line is passing through point a and this line can be named as a e so you will write a e and you have to give this symbol of line above the point a e now number c line on which o lies now where is o here is o now o is on this line so this is c and this is o so o lies on the line c o or you can write o c now number d you have to write two pairs of intersecting lines now you can see here is one intersecting line that is ae and co another intersecting line you have to find it by yourself 
Now question number four. Question number four says how many lines can pass through one given point. Now suppose you are having one point. So how many line you can draw? So we can draw endless line through one point. We can draw top to bottom, left to right in any direction. We can draw lines which passes through one point. So your answer will be infinite or endless. Number B. How many lines can pass through two given points? As you can see, if we are having two points, only one line can join them. So it will be one. Now question number five. Draw a rough figure and label suitably in each of the following cases. Now question number five, we are going to do it by yourself. But remember when you are drawing the figure, we have to draw it very neatly and you have to use pencil a sharp pencil and a scale you don't have to draw with your hands now let us see question number six question number six says consider the following figure of a line m n say whether following statements are true or false in context of the given figure now here is a figure of a line and five points are there q m o n p now, few questions I am discussing. Rest you are going to do it by yourself. Now, let's see question number A. In A, it is Q, M, O, N, P are points on the line M, N. So, the line M, N is from this end to this end. And on this line, we have having the points Q, M, O, N, P. So, this all points lies on the line M, N. So, it will be true. Now, let us see question number D. In question number D, we are having O and N are endpoints of line segment O, P. Now, we are talking about line segment. The line segment O, P. Now, when line segment is O P then the end point must be O and P and here it's saying O and N so it will be false. Now let's see question number F. F says M is point on ray O P. Now O P is this one from O to P and M is beyond O so it will be false. Now, let us see the last one, number K. N is the initial point of NP and NM. So, NP and NM are the rays. As we can see, NP, N is the end point or we can see the starting point, fixed point. And NM also N is the fixed point. You can call it as end point or you can also call it as initial point. So, one end is fixed. So, n is over here is a fixed point of the ray. So, it will be true. Now, like this, rest of the questions you are going to do it by yourself in your textbook only. Now, students, we are stopping here and before I end, you will note down all the definitions and figures in your geometry copy in a very neat and clean way. Then you will solve exercise 4.1. Question number 1 to 5 in your geometry copy. Till then, thank you. Namashivai.